Great cooking always brings back the fondest memories of your time when you created this dish. Now with my dad's birthday around the corner, I thought of going back and creating one of my grandmother's classics that we used to enjoy for every birthday party. Recreating a little bit of the old but with a new age charm. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon. Walk with me on this journey going back in time. My grandmother's mackerel salad was an all-time hit and created for every party, which required poaching the mackerel. So into a pan, you put in about two cups of water. As you allow that to get nice and hot, we're going to infuse it with some peppercorns and a whole lot of spices. About a teaspoon of peppercorns going in, one bay leaf just roughly torn up, eight cloves and a stick of cinnamon, one large onion finely chopped, a teaspoon of salt, and you can use any vinegar to coagulate the fish protein. So I'm using Goan vinegar, but malt vinegar works fine as well. Allow this to come to a near, near simmering point and it's time to just put the mackerels in. Simmering to perfection and while the onion and the spices infuse the water, it's now time to take six mackerels and just put them in. Allow them to poach gently and the flavors just come through and through. Mackerels is a very oily fish, so it releases its own flavor, making this a very star-created salad. Poaching fish requires you to be slightly elegant and totally delicate. So what you need to do out here is cook this cupboard so that the flavors get absorbed right within. 15 minutes on the slowest possible simmer is all that's required here. Simmering to perfection for 15 minutes, though I did leave it for another five minutes more, this poached mackerel is ready. And the liquid, though not used in a salad, is liquid gold. So I like to reserve it and freeze it to use it in any of my white sauces or anything for that matter. All we're going to do is allow this to sit, come down to room temperature, loosely flake it, remove all the bones, even the line bones right in the center. Creating the salad once this is nice and chilled becomes easy, safer, but with a fun garnish that my grandmother used to use, very nostalgic in the making. Having flaked the fish and chilling it for just about an hour, this is on the side, but the flavor is very, very subtle. And now the addition that you put into this salad is what's going to burst it overall. So into a bowl, I'm going to use some Goan vinegar or toddy vinegar, about 20 mils of it, along with a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of sugar. This is a secret elixir that they used to use time and time again. So just give it a quick stir. If you do not have toddy vinegar, you can use malt vinegar, you can use balsamic vinegar, or just go right ahead with a white wine vinegar. In goes the loosely flaked fish. Straight into the vinaigrette and just allow it to toss gently. Do not burden the fish too much. Allowing the fish to absorb the goan vinegar along with the sugar and the salt gets it really scented. Into this you take six to eight green chilies finely chopped, put that in along with a large bunch of spring onions. So spring onions just elevates the salad to the next level. A quick toss so that the fish, the green chilies and the spring onions just merge with each other. Though the salad is extremely light, herbs always take it to the next level. So I've taken nearly four to five tablespoons of finely chopped coriander leaves. Put it in, a quick toss again. 
This salad always brings back the fondest memories because it's such a herby salad and the mackerel is such an elegant touch to it. A toss again before you add in some onions. Lastly into this goes one large red onion finely chopped. Just give it all a toss and it's time to plate. Plating the salad is on a large platter or a very, very flattish dish so that you can garnish it. The garnish, trust me, is old world charm in the making. Well, I did talk about my grandmother's nostalgic cooking and what a fantastic chef she was. She had a unique way of creating specialized moments in her cooking. Her garnish used to be a boiled beetroot sliced with the lettering. Though she would write happy birthday and the name, my patience ran out halfway through. Any leftover salad is a great way to enjoy over a cracker for a midday snack or perfect for an appetizer as well. I hope you enjoyed creating this a little bit of my grandmother's old school charm coming right into our day to day lives. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed and more importantly, don't forget to subscribe.